All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and rule well. And then Shalom and blessings to the elect, man. Um, the script, this, uh, not scripture, man. This um, article that you see in front of you, man, from the Metro here over in the UK, it's basically um, alluding to the uh, uh, Mark of the Beast coming out full, full force in the UK. Okay, which is the RFID chip uh, technology being implanted, man. Right, so we're going to get into it. Um, so it says, the, the headline is, that's handy. Keys may have had their chips. Okay. No more fumbling for keys. Stephen Northam can unlock doors and start his car with a simple wave of his hand, which is, you know, what the, the ease of access uh, that they're pushing um, in their agenda to push this uh, mark of the beast, man. The inventor has a microchip the size of a grain of rice implanted between his thumb and finger. It unlocks his home and office, and his BMW ZW's, w, uh, Z4 starts when his hand is on the wheel. Mr. Northam, a father of one from Artburn, Hampshire, believes it will be commonplace in 20 years. Which, you know, it's bullshit because the kingdom ain't going to be here. Like, we ain't going to be here that long, man. This, it's gonna, this thing's going to move quick. It's already been, been moving quick, man, with World War III, uh, martial law, so on and so forth. His company, Biotech, is the first in the UK to offer human implantable technology. Right, you know that's the claim they made. So he has teamed up with consultant anesthetist Dr. George, Jeff Watson to ensure the implant is medically safe. The chip and a 30-second procedure cost between 230, basically, and 300 pounds to adapt door and car locks. Mr. Northam said he has about 30 people, including companies, including whole companies, sign up for implants, but that does not include his teacher wife Becky, who is scared of needles. So the 33-year-old believes the chip could eventually be used for retail payments. It's a key bit there. And as you know, if I, if I, before I continue reading, let me get the scripture, man. Right, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And, and you know what? I just want to say, yeah, the apostles and elders of Great Northstone have been pushing that RFID chip technology being implanted into 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 humans is the microchip, the, the mark of the beast that the scriptures talk about, man, that we're going to go into, man. Right? It's Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Yeah, so you you know, rich people, so-called rich people in this society, and poor people, man. You know, great in fame and, and not so known, free and bond, in prison and out of prison, whatever, man. To receive, uh, so pretty much everyone, almost everyone, man. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, okay? And that no man might buy or sell, going back to the article, use for retail payments, which it will be, and they're already showing that, man, in certain other videos that you can go and research. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So, you know, that's alluding to, it says a mark in the right hand, man, okay? It says between the thumb and the, the, the index fingers, where they prefer to put it, man. And he goes, and as a boon for seriously ill patients or those with dementia by containing medical notes. He said, skeptics think it could be used to track them, adding there are those who think it's brilliant and those who think it's the government taking control. Well, that's what it is, man. It is it is control, man. Because what does Esau want? Esau wants, he wants to be bowed down to. And he wants all, everyone under, under him as, uh, as slaves, man. Okay, for eternity. But uh, the law is going to upset him, man. Uh, pursuing to um, Job, man. Uh, when he's about to fill his belly, uh, and he is about to fill his belly. It's in Job, if you can get that, that's right. Job twenty, verse uh, Job twenty, verse twenty-three. When he's about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So you know when you're coming to the end of your meal, and you you know you're about to get that last little piece to, to satisfy your stomach, and that's where the so-called white man's sitting at the moment, man. Esau, man. As he's known in the scriptures, man. His true biblical nationality, man. His true nationality. He's gonna when he's about to when these elites are about to fill their belly, when they're about to consolidate all their power into the into the new world order, and the Lord ain't having that, man. The Lord's gonna come back, deliver his elect, and take this kingdom down. Okay? So, you know, I just wanted to bring that out there that this chip is being pushed heavy over there in the States and over here in the UK. So this thing's moving, man. Apostle Bar made a video titled um that 2008 might be the year that this chip is basically, you know, pushed like that, man, a judgment, man, you know, so I can't remember exactly, I'm just paraphrasing, but hey, that's what it is, man, so we're coming into heavy times, 
you know, brothers, stay vigilant. And for those out there who are still unsure, man, look, man, it's it's evident, first of all, who the men of the Lord are, because the great Moonstone and the Apostle and Elders on down, Apostle Ha on down, have been pushing this uh, for the longest, man, even before YouTube, man. Okay? And then, anyway, with that, uh, blessings and, you know, Shalom.